Uh, shalom, shalom. Giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahushah. Call out Yahweh Hashem Yahushah. I'm uh, watching this video, and you see the title: First Court Case Against Mandatory Jabs Attorney Interview. All right, this lady on the right is the attorney, and she's representing. Um, in the, this is in New Mexico. You have uh, a mandatory jab requirement on uh, uh, emergency first responders. All right, so you know you got a. a, a union of them that's that's fighting back against this thing and yeah you know it's here it's here it's it's here it's coming and uh it's funny to hear their argument um because basically what she's saying is that the uh the jab is not fda approved it's not fda approved it's actually it's like experimental they just have uh emergency use you know what i'm saying because you know that's what you know biden been saying you know emergency use and uh, she's making the point that, you know, it's not FDA approved. So, you know, basically these these jabs are being used to experiment on people. So that's why she's saying that, um, you know, her, her, her plaintiffs, they're not they're not taking it because they don't want to be, you know, guinea pigs or whatnot. But she said that once the uh, once this once it is FDA approved, then that'll be another Pretty much that'll be another fight for another time. But for now, by not being FDA approved, it's not, you can't, it's not uh, right, okay? It's not, you know, morally the right thing to do to require uh, this thing on the people, which at the end of the day, you know, FDA approved, it don't matter, man. These are all devils and uh, all wickedness being worked at the end of the day. All right, and um, this is the book of St. Luke, chapter 12 in the, in the, in the NLT version. St. Luke, chapter 12, verse nine, uh, so like verse 49, it says, and the title here says, Yahweh Shai causes division. I have come to set the world on fire, and I wish it were already burning. I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me, and I am under a heavy burden until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. All right, and that's what the Lord is doing. He's He's bringing the vision in this place, man. All right, because you had some people, you know, that uh, within this this situation that went ahead and took it, all right, because they were scared and they were the breadwinner and they didn't they didn't want to they didn't want to they didn't want to lose their jobs. All right, and that's what's 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 going on now. You have um, within households, I'm hearing of people saying, "Yeah, my mama got it, my 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 such and such got it, they got it, but I'm not getting it." And people saying, "Hey, yeah, they 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 uh looking at me a little funny now. They treating me a certain way because the Lord is bringing the vision. All right, because the Lord has you know certain spirits on certain people within that household to be contrary all right, to the doings of this world, man. And, and and this is what the Lord is doing." Verse 52, from now on, families will be split apart, three in favor of me and two against, or two in favor and three against, okay? And Yahweh Shah represents, he's the truth, man. He is, the, like he said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. So being in favor of him is being in favor of truth, integrity, all right? The, the you know, righteousness, the, the right thing to do, all right? And, and a lot of, the majority of the people of this world, they're not in favor of of uh in, of, of having integrity and doing what's right they just kind of go along to get along all right verse 53 father will be divided against son and son against father mother against daughter and daughter against mother and mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law we see it coming you know it's going to be a lot of um a lot of back and forward uh with this thing you know regarding getting it man it's going to be a lot of conflict you know, especially amongst the tribes, man, because that's really what the opposition is going to uh, uh, be at, man. It's going to be amongst the tribes. And that's why Esau is trying so desperately to influence your minds to, to go ahead and roll, roll up your sleeve and get dirty. All right, this is chapter 15 in the book of Second Edris, chapter 4, uh, so like your verse 14. So this is uh, Second Edris 15, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in the power. All right, and if this thing continues to, to move forward, 
you know, um, you know, have a lot of people that that are with, without jobs, and jobs are already becoming scarce. All right, and so people are, are not going to regard the so-called authority. You know, the mayors, the governors, even shit, even police orders. Seventeen, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because without this jab, you ain't going to be able to travel. All right, your 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 movement is going to be restricted, very limited. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And and, the, and we live in the most proud uh, place on this earth, on the face of this earth, which is Babylon the Great. Right, this place is full of pride, it's full of uh, you know, blasphemy. And that's why the, the Lord is going to bring great trouble upon this place. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, all right, there's been there's a, a manufactured famine going on. You got Bill Gates who just became the largest uh, farmland owner in the United States. Uh, you know there's going to be a lack of bread, and then also if you don't you know produce you know your proof of this whole uh, having this jab, you ain't gonna be able to have access to the bread. You ain't gonna be able to go into these grocery stores, man. All right, and then it's it's it's, it's uh you know. Possible inflation might be coming, so prices are gonna skyrocket. So, you know, look for more more of these type of cases because this could actually set a precedence. You know, depending on how it goes, and um, be be a sedition, man, uprising. We in that time where where the words are speaking. Shalom.